That's a nice old building of some kind. What was it? An old stables? I was going to say it would make a nice house, but with all the tourists going by, it probably wouldn't. And perhaps that isn't everybody's idea of the perfect view when they wake up in the morning. Well, there are worse views. Now, here we go. I'm scratching my head again about Baltic sculptures and such like. I don't be, mean to be a grouch or a meanie misery guts, but what on earth is this about? The only thing that looks vaguely familiar is that little mini sausage roll over there in the middle. So we've got a mini sausage roll and we've got um, something cut in half. This collection of stones on stones on sticks isn't really appealing, is it? Not eye-catching. If you're going to do quirky, make it still appealing to the layman, such as myself, who doesn't have the wherewithal between the ears to be able to imagine what the artist was trying to capture and express in the form of a stone mini sausage roll. Now that looks like a tourist bus or a school trip bus. Oh, there's a scent of ladies' perfume in the air. I'm just getting over a heavy cold from last week and uh, the nostrils aren't quite as clear as they used to be. Orbis Austria, music and culture on the journey. Nice building there. Oh, another strange, hmm. Not mini sausage roll this time, but just, yes, something else. A stone snail on a rock. I don't know, but I'm enjoying the walk. Lovely fresh air. Oh, I'm going to miss this when I'm out of the Baltics. Once I hit Warsaw, I think. Oh boy. The air quality can be a bit nasty in Warsaw. Not always, but yeah. At least we're not going there in the uh, winter when local people are burning everything, not just coal. So the castle, um, castles down there to the left, planetarium and observatory as well. And way off is the adventure park. So I think at this point I do need to go left. It's a bit too early for me to take the strain off and sit down. Here's a chap called Krishyanim Valdemaram. I know, let's go and see the castle. You know I want to. After the castle, I can continue my, my walk. Although the the sign pointed up this road for the castle, and indeed that may be the entrance. I've seen another cow, so I want to film the cow. I think we might be able to walk around here to get to the entrance to the castle. Oh, in a bit of shade, that's nice. You see, I do have eyeballs. I know a lot of it these days, I'm filming with sunglasses on, but yeah. You know what happens in summer, even if it's cold, the sun comes out and shines on the righteous, as well as the not so righteous. So we have the cow, some kind of ah, dolphin sculpture thing over there. Somebody's drawn a fish on the cow for some reason. 
there's the the fish one lats oh that harkens back to the day of the latvian currency before the euro i suppose maybe fish was just one lat although one lat used to be the equivalent of about one british pound don't know if that's a good price for a fish here we are this is the castle and from what i've read it's it's worth visiting you know it's not just a one euro crap castle it's a one euro castle <laughs> which has a lot to see even if you don't need latvian and it is allegedly the oldest complete castle in its original built form others have changed shape of course as we seen before we saw the other day in Torida we saw up in Estonia um, with Hapsalu and of course you see with many many castles it's typical through history they're going to change their shape as changes are made to make the castle more defendable more dependable and more defendable it's not a British flag, is it? No, not quite. Bit of a washed out British flag, if it is. Well, I've come round and there is the tower of the castle, but there's no entrance around here down the side that I can see. Ah, here it is. So the only point of entry is this little doorway here. Da, da, da. We found it. Vent Spills Museum and the old Liv Livonian Order Castle. And we've got some opening hours. 10 in the morning until 6. Although it says 5.30 over there. Uh, but yes, come late morning or early afternoon. But Monday's closed. Here are the prices. Very useful. 4 50 for adults. So it's not one euro like it's said on the internet. That is bizarre. Ah, unless you're a pensioner. I wonder how old you have to be to be a pensioner. Hmm. Let's find out. Well, that was fun. I managed to get a ticket and yes, so much for that comment on TripAdvisor. The entry is one euro. Nope. It's two euros 50, but that does include mm, everything because I think there is a separate charge of one euro for the exhibition hall, for example. And oh, what have we got over there? We've got some pike staffs over there, a mini cannon. And is that a trebuchet? Trebuchet. Oh, we've got a less historic and less convincing stocks there for a couple of variations for children no doubt and the young at heart who want to have some pictures taken there's this thing which I'm not sure about at all it's getting a repaint so I'll, she'll, she'll leave it yeah that definitely does look trebuchet-ish doesn't it People dress up in costume. A couple of wooden horses, which perhaps are decked out with livery and a fake fal false uh, horse's head at some point. I'm not sure. I'm getting the feeling that they're, they're gearing up for the mad rush of either the weekend tomorrow, so perhaps they've come up on a quiet day, Yeah, 
I think these are called convent style castles to provide security for monks and nuns. So here we have the prison in the castle of Ventspils in the 19th century, right into the middle of the 20th century. It's going to be dark, isn't it? The camera won't work, will it? Okay, I'll go and have a look around on my own. Hmm. I have to say, the prison experience was dull and pointless. I'm telling it how it is. Uh, few rooms with nothing in them. A couple of them have some information, just a little bit, in Latvian written on the wall, on the notice board. Um, but it's, they're not the, a few pictures, but yeah, you're not going to learn anything or get any kind of sense of what the prison was like for the prisoners. Hmm, let's hope it improves, shall we? Out here in the garden, we've got some nice shiny stones. This is an artwork by Powell's Jansons. Um, seriously? Is it? Sorry, Powell's. I don't, um, I don't want to bring you down or anything or bum you out. But really, how much did you get paid for polishing these rocks? So this is where the nuns or the monks would have walked around, I guess, chanting or quietly at quietly contemplating life and death in the Middle Ages. <clears throat> and when did they know it was time to stop praying and start having lunch? Well, they could tell by this timepiece. 11 o'clock, is that what it says? Just after 11. I wonder if it's accurate. I think it probably is maybe because it took a bit of a while to walk this far this far thus far the main ticket price for an adult is four euros fifty as of the beginning of summer 2023 so yes that's the reality of it and if i'd seen that last night i would have just walked by this castle today I would have filmed it, kept walking, because uh, how interesting can it be? And four euros fifty. Hmm. But because I asked about four times, because I was curious, there was no age, how old do you have to be for a pensioner? You know, because in some places it's 70, some places it's 65, some places it's 60, I've even seen 55. And thinking of you people out there, the older backpackers, like myself, you know, it might be relevant information. Therefore, yes, I asked, she didn't seem to understand what I was getting at. Then I asked again and again and again, and eventually she just sold me a ticket for two euros 50. <laughs> so today I am officially a pensioner in Latvia and I saved 250. So I thought, okay, that's a sign. She's selling me a ticket. She's making my mind up for me and I'll pay two euros fifty for this experience. It's not one euro, but it's still hopefully going to work out to be a good deal. Let's see, shall we? Now, how do you get in? Maybe it's the door. Maybe it's the side door. Hmm. What's in there? I don't know.
for explanation for everything here nicely set out in Latvian so not really designed for foreign tourists and therefore of limited appeal I think this place is definitely best suited to Latvian school groups and Latvians of other ages as well who are interested in history, everything written in Latvian. Just it's worth repeating I think because if you were coming as a family and you don't speak Latvian and you're paying <laughs> for three or four people, then yeah, it might be not worth your money. Oh, wardrobe, something in English. But it doesn't look like a wardrobe, does it? It looks like a kitchen. A lot of the rooms here are sort of stark, unused at the moment, exhibition rooms. One's getting ready for some kind of presentation but this is one of the few which I've seen so far, one floor up from the ground floor, which actually has some things of interest on display. reconstructed tiles based on archaeological evidence of what the old chimney room used to be. Just a little bit of original features here. The warm and sunlit room it says in the description in English on the wall but unfortunately they keep the uh, shutters closed so you don't get the sunlight. So, poorly lit, dark museums. Not our best friend. There are some of the staff walking around with ladies' costumes on from the medieval period, whether they're dressed the way that any of the nuns would have been dressed. I suspect, no, more like servants, I think, if the nuns had servants. Or maybe they're dressed from the period when the Duke of Courland, the regional governor, came to visit. Modern toilets, I'm guessing. <laughs> Better not go in there with the camera, even though that is the best lit room in the house I've seen so far. And an elevator for the disabled, useful. And, oh, it looks like a restaurant over there. Finally, we reach the chapel or council church. This bit goes back to the 14th to the 16th century. Hmm. I'm beginning to be a bit confused. 
perhaps even skeptical about how close to the original style of the 13th century construction this castle is today. Perhaps there was very little and it was a very small initial build and all of that exists as it did and that's what makes it unique whereas a lot of other stuff came over the following centuries I presume this modern furniture doesn't help does it with the atmos but at least it's nicely lit. Why not light all the rooms like this? And why not have all the shutters open? I mean, we are paying for the experience, aren't we? Or am I just being a grumble guts? Miserable old tourist. You got a cheap half price ticket as it was. What do you expect? Everything's a bonus, right? That's right. Some dull paintings of winter scenes. Mm. It's an exhibition, but... Okay, not for me. And who remembers the charm of old cinema? Here in Ventspils, it's an exhibition of what it was like. Allegedly, some of the movies that the kids would be shown using equipment like this. Hmm. Looks like a Polish device of some kind. Well, it looks as though they had several cinemas in this small town. Some nice nostalgia for the locals. And that's how they used to sit in the cinema. Some old images of fence pills. Charlie Chaplin of his day, perhaps. Child actors, where are they now? For film historians, you might appreciate some of the equipment, even if you don't know the titles of the movies. Oh. And there's 
was the latest thing in the 1950s. Perhaps. Oh, that's an unfortunate piece of ugly propaganda. who was the star of this movie. Lentz Pills was once called Lindau. A town plan from 1829. Crikey. It really was a teeny tiny place back then, wasn't it? Basically today, we've just walked around here. As far as the castle. We've walked almost all of the old settlement from 200 years ago, apart from the allotments and farms. Nice Art Deco jug. If a fire should break out, do not panic. Don't captain don't Captain Manuel. Don't panic, Captain. Because Fire Brigade. So what's the damage, Governor? I hear you ask. Well, no additional costs. I wasn't sure if there may be an additional exhibition cost on top of the 250 that I paid, but no. That comes in another combination of prices, depending on what ticket you end up buying or being sold. <laughs> I think there was a bit of confusion, but I'm going to embrace my inner Latvian pensioner and in future hmm, see if somebody else wants to give me a cut price discount ticket why not there were some very nice old postcards with images of vents pills up on the very top floor and yeah I would say worth an hour of somebody's time walking extremely slowly around if you're interested in that kind of thing if you're not sure whether you want to go into a museum they're not really your thing it's not at all interested in anything to do with history or nostalgia then give it a swerve unless it's raining that's the other point because if it's raining you're kind of grateful aren't you if the weather had been unpleasant, this would be an ideal spot to come for anybody who happened to have booked their holiday in events bills, even if it's only for a day or two, and found the elements were against them. Perhaps they wouldn't be doing much in the way of sunbathing or diving into the Baltic Sea for a swim. So when we saw the silver cow earlier, if I'd had a brain in my head, I would have just come straight up here to the entrance, but I actually thought the entrance would be on the southern side. And of course I was wrong. Glad I didn't pay any more than I did. Would I recommend it? As I say, limited appeal really. Particularly, I mean, it doesn't help bleating. Here I am. I'm bleating again. I'm the right old bleater. Oh, what the heck's this? 
Ultras vent spills. Are these the hardcore massive? Is it something to do with football hooliganism by the looks of things? But who can say? What would I know such things? Just because I've got a bald head. Don't draw any conclusions from that, young lady.